I've been going to the Aaron Malt Music Festival since 2012 and going to the Aaron Distillery since 2011 and I thought what keeps me going back uh, and I should share that with people because it's awesome and I keep going back and I really love going back there so here's my little journey of uh, Aaron Malt Music Festival 2018. Uh, we set off from Norfolk in England uh, at midnight or just before midnight because we found driving up there at night time was just a hell of a lot easier radio one on uh, and hearing all of the different dance tracks at 2am something new project getting lighter different stages of twilight Lovely, lovely Scottish flag that you drive past that tells you you're up in Scotland. And this year it became apparent, oh, it's going to be sunny. It's going to be really sunny because it was just blue skies. There weren't any clouds anywhere. Um, this is my dog, May. And we got the ferry from our Dross and Harbour. You can also get on at uh, Clonaig, uh, but we got on the main terminal, took the ferry over. May likes being on a ferry and smelling the air, and it's hot, but she's got a double coat, so she's panting. But the, the sea was just uh, still, still as a mill pond, and it was hard to see where the sea uh, ended and the horizon started. And I love this uh, ferry journey and going over from the mainland to the, uh, the Isle of Arran at the best of times. It can be wet, windy any weather condition but this one was particularly special I've never seen it so still or so hot and blue blue everywhere and we uh, got to the island we did a little walk up to Corrie Lochin and that was like your own personal swimming pool in the hills German army extensively used them, of course, throughout Europe as well. As far afield as New Zealand and Australian armies used them, so very, very capable uh, big vehicles. Um, and this is the first day on the Mog about. We uh, did a, uh, a trip down to the new lag distillery um, with so the distillery crew. That's why it's here, it's not here for the beauty. But and you look outside, everything's are, green, everything's blue. Today oh, gorgeous. Is that, uh, locally, we've got a really good uh, forest manager. You're over to Holy Island. I mean, this could be the south of France. And uh, had an excellent tour guide in the form of Alex uh, and Jackie. Life starts again, it pulls in the, the wildlife back into these areas. These areas become hunting areas. And for over 40, even 50 years in some of the areas of Arran, the woods have been closed. Nearly 50% of the south of the island is covered in trees. Uh, and as they start to clear fell them, it's opening the areas up, so, you know, it's attracting these big birds back into the south of the island, which, you know, they would have been there 50-odd uh, years ago. But, uh... And we went down to Lag, which is a building site at the moment, but is going to be their distillery number two. And it was so exciting to see this shape of a distillery rising from this field. Okay. And uh, the Bond warehouses, which we paid a visit to. Uh, down to the warehouse. Okay. We'd cycled by it last year and driven by it for Hogmanay and you have no sense of scale until you drive into it how big this place is going to be. Really exciting. There's an orchard over there in the, in the background. And uh, this is inside. Bonded Warehouse number two at Lag, which was great. We we're in a warehouse before the distillery's opened, and uh, these are some casks from Lockrands are brought down until the distillery starts producing, and we got to do a little whiskey tasting in a warehouse on a swelteringly hot day. It was awesome. <laughs> That'll all be uh, different in six months, it'll be finished. And then we went down to Cleet Shore, which is uh, Aaron's nudist beach, and we were all fully clothed. <laughs> Pretty good. 
but we had uh, we had lunch provided by the distillery, and I, I just felt like I was in the Mediterranean. I could have happily gone for a swim, which I don't always say on Aaron, but uh, the the water was crystal clear. And I climbed up a hill, looked out on this local barley field, which is at the back of the distillery, and this is the view from the new distillery, which is just idyllic. That little patch of sand down there is uh, the nudist beach. And then there's Elsa Craig, which I'll have to do a sea kayak out to, and then this is very good architecture to blend into the scenery. That's the, the distillery and its warehouses. I can't I can barely distinguish them from the barley field. And the barley is going into the whiskey in the next few years as well. So and we uh, went to the White Stag dinner in the evening, which was great. Along the way, and every year with the White Stag community, we make a lot more as well. And let's just keep that going, everybody. So thank you very much, Land of yeah. This is the. Uh, I was MD, you and Mitchell getting uh, an order, and he's a. Uh, my friend Rennie from Switzerland. <laughs> John and Barry having a little dance. Can John sell the Civic and buy the Lorient? John had a bit of a, uh, a dock from Back to the Future vibe going on. And when Fair returns, she's going to be taking up the reins down at the new visitor experience down at Lag, which I'm sure you're all looking forward to. Where we've just been. Congratulations, Faye. And uh, I think I'd just gone out to walk the dog for a bit and uh, I'd come, was coming back in to the, uh, the, the marquee where the white section was going on. It was just gorgeous, it was still hot. There's James McTaggart and Neil Mitchell. There's Faye. Titanic pose. <laughs> And then the next day we uh, queued in the morning to get the festival bottling and then the main festival day started proper. Went on a white stag tasting masterclass with Jackie. And these are bottles that you, you can't normally just try drams from and they were all uh, opened and shared between friends in uh, Warehouse 6, including <coughs> Rennie who introduced his bottle. I have, I'm a chuck fan, so I have two chuck And uh, yeah, there were six great drums. And we had another masterclass straight away over in Warehouse 3 for the Stillsman, so I dashed across. And we had four so Stillsmen nice. led by John. And I'm not sure if there are any new faces, but <laughs> perhaps one or two, but you're most, all of you, most, most of This year we're going to do it slightly differently. It will be less of me. It will be less of me, probably. Uh, because we, we, there's four of us. Uh, five, including Ryan at the, the end, and who is it? But we have two new stillsmen. Oh, yes. mm. um, so they need an opportunity to show their stuff and their knowledge. Stuart and John joined the team yes. a few months ago, and you, under no circumstances could you describe them as rookies, even after only a few months. They are not. And in an orderly fashion. Yes, <laughs> starting. Orderly fashion. Bottom, <laughs> starting bottom right. Ryan will pour you the old traditional. Well, we, uh, we did this kind of whiskey conga down to a cask and we got uh, a valent went into the cask and gave us a very healthy dram and it was just fantastic. We're in a bonded warehouse getting whiskey poured from a cask with 20 other complete Aaron whiskey nuts like you couldn't be in a better setting and the temperature was just intense. 
Thanks so much. And there we all are, uh, <laughs> after six drams. Then we drove around in the evening with some friends through Glen Sanex. Cancho. Cancho. <laughs> <laughs> um, right now, are you sure? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we came back to the Cayley in the marquee in the evening. Sunday we uh, bought three drams and we got a little survivor's badge and all of a sudden that was the weekend over and uh, just friends left right and centre all in this place coming up on the right uh, the Isle of Arran distillery in La Granza and uh, it's the best weekend and it, it doesn't matter if it rains or it's windy normally it's fine but with conditions like this year oh, we've come away with a tan from La Granza which is the village with the least sunshine in the UK uh, then we got the ferry back off the island and that was that but yeah I recommend it if ever you get a chance get over to Aaron and get over to their Malt Music Festival because it's bloody brilliant <laughs> <laughs>